Hello, my name is Kevin Ricardo. I am the lead educator for Bronx Works. I am presenting the Stellar Farmers Market Curriculum for the Nutrition Education Capacity Program. For today's presentation, I will be presenting the topic germs. Germs, what type of germs are there? Germs are found all over the world in all kinds of places. The four major types of germs are bacteria, viruses, fungi, and protozoa. They can invade plants, animals, and people, and sometimes they can make us sick. What are germs? Germs are microbes. This means they are so small that you can't see them without a microscope. How many types of germs are there? There are two types of germs, bacteria and viruses. You might be confused now. Before I said that there were four types of germs, which there are. But these two types of germs affect humans and animals. And in general, there are four types of germs, but the other two types of germs affect plants. So our, one of the other ones are called fungi, and the other type of germ is called protozoa. So let's start off with bacteria. Bacteria are tiny one-celled creatures that get nutrients from their environments in order to live. In some cases, that, that environment is a human body. Bacteria can reproduce outside of the body or within the body as they cause infections. Some infections that bacteria can cause include ear infections, sore throats, tonsillitis, or strep throat, cavities, or pneumonia. But not all bacteria are bad. Some bacteria are good for our bodies. They help keep things in balance. Good bacteria live in our intestines and help us use the nutrients in the food we eat and make waste from what's left over. We couldn't make the most of a healthy meal without these important helper germs. Some bacteria are also used by scientists and labs to produce medicines and vaccines. Now let's talk about viruses. Viruses need to be inside living cells to grow and reproduce. Most viruses cannot survive very long if they are not inside a living thing like a plant, animal, or person. Whatever a virus lives in is called its host. When a viruses get inside a people's bodies, they can spread and make people sick. Viruses can cause chicken pox, measles, flu, and many other diseases because some viruses can live for a short time on something like doorknob or countertop. Be sure to wash your hands regularly. There are two different shapes of bacteria, rod and round. Round shaped bacteria are called viruses, rod are bacteria. How do you get rid of bacteria? Antibiotics? How can you protect yourself from germs? Most germs are spread through the air in sneezes, coughs, or even breaths. Germs can also spread in sweat, saliva, and blood, and some pass from person to person by touching something that is contaminated like shaking hands with someone who has a cold and then touch your nose hand washing remember the words that germs fear soap and water washing your hands well and often is the best way to beat these tiny warriors wash your hands every time you cough or sneeze before you eat or prepare foods after you use the bathroom, after you touch animals and pets, after you play outside, and after you visit a sick relative or friend. There is a right way to wash your hands. Use warm water and soap and rub your hands together for at least 20 seconds, which is how long it takes to sing happy birthday. Remember to get in between your fingernails and in between your fingers and your palms and also wash your wrists as well. How do we get rid of a virus? You can't get rid of a virus, but you can prevent some of them. 
So these are the way you can prevent it is getting vaccinations. What kinds of diseases do bacteria cause? Food poisoning, strep throat. Lastly, what kinds of diseases do viruses cause? Chickenpox, the flu. Thank you for participating for today's topic on germs. Please stay tuned for the next upcoming video and keep watching till the end to learn more about our farm stand and remember to like and comment below. Remember to stop by from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. every Thursday to shop locally and get your fresh fruits and vegetables so you can make these healthy recipes at home. When you stop by, remember to go to the outreach table so that you can watch these virtual videos and receive health bucks so that you can use it at the farm stand. We accept cash, debit, credit, FMNP coupons, health bucks, and EBT or SNAP as well. If you haven't already seen the cooking recipe videos, check them out and remember to like and comment below. Hope you join us next time. Bye.